Hey Stampers, Gator again. Um, I've been asked to do a couple of mail Valentine's cards. So I've done one coming up, you'll see it shortly. Well, you would have seen it already, but it's using the best catch. So this one, I'm doing a double Z fold card. I've put a card on the back with stamped the, the oil spill so you can write a message on the back. But it's a double, another double Z fold card and I've used the ga uh, geared up garage. Um, love it. It doesn't open fully, but you don't need it to. That is the front. These little dots, believe it or not, are... Where's my... There it is. I've already punched them out. These are the dots from in there when I punch, when we pull them out later. I use those three little dots to go down there. Because it was a mail card, I put the gears on, the toolbox, and the Happy Valentine's Day. So it sits up lovely. And it's nice. I like one of these. Fits in a normal side envelope. And they can see the gears this side. Just love it. And because I give half my papers as a gift to Mandy for her birthday, I only had enough. So I, what I did, I cut my pieces for here and here. And then add the centre piece one. But uh, I love this grey. It's beautiful. So I'm going to swap up these papers in the back. But the fronts are going to be the same. Um, I've got some scrap. I've got basic black, which is four and one eighth by eleven and a half, and then a piece which is three. Oh, I, I need to cut this down. It needs to be three by nine. So I'll do that with you quickly now. Um, I've got some whisper white then to carry on with our messages. I've got three pieces of designer series paper. This is for the smaller one. Oh, let me just uh, turn my card back for my measurements. Uh, this small piece is four and a half by two and three quarters. These two small pieces, you'll need two of those. And they are two by two and three quarters. And then the designer says paper. Look, I've got these dashboard clocks. I think they're really, really cute. And they are, this one is two and five eight, uh, three and seven eighths by five and a half. And then you need two. We're going to use that centerpiece one again. And these are two and five eighths by three and seven eighths. If you get lost and you need the measurements, just send me a message in the comments. Because I don't do the vlog so much these days. I know I'm naughty and I should. Right, this piece, we're just going to fold this in half. I'm going to burnish it with our bone folder. So, and then what you're going to do is, you're going to turn this back on itself. And... Oops, I can get it straight. That's it. And we're just going to burnish that back on itself. So we've got that Z fold there. And we're going to do exactly the same with this one. Just going to fold them in half. And then you're going to pull back on themselves. Making sure the edges don't overlap. Keep that up there. I just find it quicker this way. Because I'm so used to folding my cards as it is. So this will then fit in there lovely. And you've got... I like the gap because you get to see all... You get to see so much of that designer series paper. It's lovely. So we're gonna we're gonna do some gluing first. Get those out of the way. They can be drying off while we're doing some stamping and colouring. I love this. You can use any designer series paper you want, but I've chosen to use the garage, the geared up garage. 
or the classic garage designer sales paper it's called. And I'm going to have a nice, whoops, little quarter inch border all the way around. Perfect. I love this grey. It's just so pretty. For a grey card, I think it's lovely. And it adds, it helps bring out the features of the back card whilst showing off your pieces that you're going to die cut and colour and cut. Oh, love it. And I use the tailored punch for the sentiment and with the trio the, 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 the trio punch, trio corner punch, oh I'll get it right in a minute. <laughs> uh, I use that to pop the holes in the side uh, so we could poke our ribbon through which is that beautiful black and metallic ribbon to come out the sides. Beautiful. So we'll be using that later. So this one with the tools on is going in the centre. Going in that centre piece there. And then we can get our clocks on. Whoops. Getting it all over my fingers. And just line it up with the other paper. Isn't that cute? Oh, I love it. Oh, I've put it on upside down, I think. Oh well, so this one will have to as well. No, I'm going to turn this the right way. Oh, you can even write your name in it. <laughs> oh well, I've got done this the same way. Never mind. They just look the same now, don't they? We can't even have it that way because our card will open funnily. You don't want a card that opens like that. <laughs> oh, so what I'm going to do now, I'm just going to add glue to this panel. And I'm adding glue to just half of this panel. And then what we're going to do is going to line this up. And whilst we've still got a bit of wiggle space. And just line that up. Perfect. Because you didn't want to come too far back because of your glue. I think that is perfect. So that can stay on there now with that on top just for weight. I'm going to pop this away for a little bit. Can't beat an old Z-Fold card. So I'm going to use, I don't know if I'm going to use that. I might do. I'm going to get my black memento ink. And I'm going to stamp my car. So it's nice and inked up. And I'm going to pop this down here. Oh, it's lovely. Love it. I mean, we've got designer series paper in there. We could just cut one of them out. But I wanted to give the car a bit of colour against that background. So now I've got my toolbox. I should get these two out of this piece of paper. Yes, I'll be fine with that. That's that one. And then, I'm going to pop that to one side. I'm going to stamp. Ting. Ting. 
my happy valentine I'm going to just do it in the centre perfect and I'm going to cut it out with the tailored punch I can keep that in the centre Perfect. So what I'm going to do then with this piece, just so I'm not wasting anything, I'm going to cut that off. Perfect. And I'm going to add that now to the back of my card. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to add that on there. And then I'm going to put a piece of designer series paper on the back because you don't really need all that. So I'm going to add this piece. I saved all my bits, so I'm going to I'm going to leave it that width. I'm going to take this down to three and seven eighths. I may even just take that down to two. And then we can add that attach on the back. And that way we're not wasting nothing now. So I'm going to add the white first. Because we do need somewhere to write a message. So they say knit two cards are never the same. And on this case, they are right. So I'm going to put it on this side. That way... plenty of space and um, this is going to go right on top there oh my gosh it's lovely it also goes then with our designer says paper on the inside perfect and I'm just going to add one now in the bottom corner here Of my um, oil spills, as they call it. So that is going to go on the back. So there's all our stamping done. Most of our gluing is done. I'm going to pop that there. Oh, let me just show you what I did here. I pop this in and just. Oops, no, I'm gonna, I'll show you what I did. I put it in and I tried to keep the distance bang in the centre. Perfect. Oh, beautiful. Look at that. Fabulous. And then with our ribbon, wherever it, that's gone, there it is. What I did, I just grabbed a couple of glue dots. And I put one just by that uh, opening. And one by that one. And then just thread this through, just so it's poking through. Sure, I've got some coming through that side. Just like that. And then I added dimensionals. And that is keep the glue dot is keeping my ribbon in place. And that is ready for us to go later. I think that's fabulous. Oh, I love this bit now. This is the bit where you get to watch me colour, and I adore it. Love, love, love to colour. So we had a bright red car on the other one. I'm actually going to have the red toolbox this time, and we're going to have a green car. So I'm using the dark. Just in the shaded areas, and I've round the, uh, the outline of this cute little toolbox.
So where these lines are, that's the shaded bit. So I'm just going to do all the filling in bits. Just following those lines, not doing nothing fancy. Just going to go across the handle there as well. I will go back shortly with some more colour because once you've coloured your tools in, there'll be little spots inside the toolbox. That you won't be able to see until after you've coloured the tools in. You know, like there's a little bit there, there's a little bit there, and there's a little bit round by this spanner here. Oh, you'll see it later. And I use the dark grey and the light grey for my crumb work. Isn't that lovely? Just gonna go over it again. You could add an oil stain if they give you a smaller one. You could have added a, um, a little splodge on that because no one's got perfectly clean and toolbox. So I can see there where it's going to be red inside and there. So I'm going to get my dark silver and I'm just going to go around all the tools. and down the bottom here there's a little screwdriver there there's other bits there's a file there's a socket wrench there now can you see all the, see where the spanner is there that's the end of the spanner you still got little gaps so I'm gonna go back in and I'm gonna fill those tiny little gaps More silver there, just along that handle, and just into there, and then I'm going to get blue to cover the handles on those tools. Oh, you've got to have real strength to get these open. Perfect. Have a little blue lock on there. Loving it. <laughs> so I'm going to use the paler grey now for, oops, my wheels. They're going to have chrome wheels. And this is the grill. Sockets and a chrome handle. It's all the attention to details. I love it. Absolutely love it. Something just fell off my shelf. So they can go back away now. And I'm gonna I'm going to, I uh, used a granny apple green on the toolbox, on the other one, but I'm going to use Old Olive. Uh, I'm not sure which one is. Is that the new one? No, that's, well, it is, but it, it isn't, if you know what I mean. So I'm going 
can have a really old style green on the car this time. Fabulous colours. Oh, love it. I did like the red car as well, but I wanted to switch it round a bit. I'm not going for shading on the car. Because I think a car once it's got it's been for a free the car wash say it doesn't have any shadows I love this colour on the car love it Oh, and that, oh, I love that. I think it's so cute. I can just go back over the dark areas. I don't think it needs it, though. Love that. And what I'm going to do this time, I'm going to grab... I'm going to just test and see. Oh, no, look at that for a nib. Oh, that's awful. I need a new one. That's the dark as well. I'm going to go with the light on the headlights, just to represent the glass and on the glass. And the less dark, I didn't go around the outside of the car with the blue and it left it really bright white. So what I'm going to do this time is I'm going to go around the vehicle. And the same with the toolbox. So when it cuts it out, it doesn't leave that white look all the way around. Oh, that one smeared that colour. Just have to be careful where the red is. Don't want it smearing. That's better. So when I cut them out now, fingers crossed, it'll look a lot better. So I've got my dies here. Got my car. Oh, I'm going to cut that out first because it's going to interrupt me my car. borrowed my self-cutting mat this morning. I haven't fetched it back up. A little thief and I smack its bum. <laughs> Perfect. So now, look, see, around the outside of the car, it's not pure white. Now I should be able to cut my toolbox out as well. Paper on the floor. I need to 
Oh, look at that. Cut that out perfectly. Perfect. Yay. Loving it. So I've utilised that piece of paper brilliantly. So we've got our dimensions on our label, sentiment even. Now we're going to add some to the car. Might just grab a small one as well. And now to our toolbox. And now our cogs. Now, if you watch, you've got three centers and a bit in this center. That's just not even a shape, so we're not going to use that. But in there, there, and there are those shapes. So we can use them on the front. But this one, it, they're all smaller than each other. Here's Mr. Boy's for my coffee, I think. See the size difference there? Oh, you're a little angel. I just said Mr. Boy's is coming up with my coffee. Uh -huh. Yeah. Simply the best. Love you, Mr. Boy's. Love you too. Good. So there's that piece. Just gonna... I use this sentiment from the meant to be. So that's where the My Valentine came from. My, uh, where's my geared up garage gone? <laughs> I'm losing a stamp set. Oh, here it is. Here it is. So I can pop my car back in, my toolbox, and these beautiful cogs. There's loads to have down here. There's the big, massive one as well, but because that gap is so small. I thought I'd use that little cluster of three. Might as well put these away while I'm here. And that beautiful little till box. What a fabulous stamp set. This is just perfect. Isn't that fabulous? I like to put things. Oh, there's my dots. Don't want to lose them. All right, my small dimensionals now. I want my cog, and I've got this tiny half piece. This is just going to fit on the back of one of those cogs there. Perfectly. And then, can I manage a... No, it's too big. So I've got some half pieces here. And if you've not got enough then just snip up about three or four and you've got plenty to go around then what is wrong with these scissors mine don't ever cut through ribbon my scissors and never have done from stamping up but I just think it's my pair that are duds so add some more mini dimensionals there, half ones. And what I did with the other, to get that quarter one, I just cut it in half again. This one doesn't want to play ball. It's still stuck to its partner. And then one more there. Lovely. We can start stripping these off now. I know, it's stuck to the back of my finger. <laughs> and then for the tiny little ones. And 
it's always so handy to have that little pot on the end of your desk, it's brilliant. So thank you for that Catherine, your little angel. So now our card has had a chance to stay folding flat. I'm going to fetch this gorgeous card in and I'm going to have this towards the top here. A bit more over than the central this time. I'm going to have my happy Valentine's Day just peeking over there. Perfect. I'm going to add my toolbox just in here. And then our cogs. I just go in in there. I can see a tiny little bit poking out, which I'll poke in. Beautiful. So now for that, those lovely little dots again. I'm just going to. Large one at the top. Medium. Square. They have to have a tiny dot more glue. Don't know what it is. I think it needs a really good cleaning. My pin is bent, <laughs> really bent. That's better. And this last little dot, so nothing's gone to waste. We've even utilised the dots that we'd normally throw away from our centre pieces. Isn't that lovely? I know it dries clear and I'm going to his OCD is off. You could add some other gems if you wanted to. I didn't buy the little tools that, you know, like the little spanners and that that came with this set. I didn't bother with those. I don't know why. Um, but, uh, oh, coffee. Oh, my coffee. Mm. Oh, do you know, he's a little trooper. Yeah, no, I didn't buy the um, elements for the geared up. I wasn't even going to buy the stamp set, believe it or not. But I'm glad I did now. Because it is quite versatile. And it, you get, it makes some lovely cards. So I'm just going to finish off a bit of Wind Costella. And I'm only going to do the windscreen. And the glass. Just so it looks like. Just a little bit of shine there. So I'm going to do the same with this one because I didn't do it on this one. Isn't that cute. So there are my Valentine's card using the geared up garage. Absolutely love it. I got a wire under my desk and I'm taping it up all the time with duct tape, but the duct tape keeps falling off. <laughs> it's because it's a wire to my lamp and it keeps dangling down in front of my legs, so I tape it up. <laughs> there we go. So I hope you like. I think they're absolutely fabulous. Loving this one. Oh, I love that green car and it's taken away from the white. If I had a steady enough hand, I'd go around there with the pen. But if I pick up a tiny little bit of red, then I'm just going to smear it. So I've got a red car, green toolbox. And this time I've got a green car, red toolbox. So there are my double Z fold Valentine's cards using the Geared Up Garage. Yay! I hope you like them. We do struggle to find mail cards. Um... A lot of people have said we need more mail cards, more mail cards. It doesn't help when stamping up only fetch one or two out. <laughs> and then we're left struggling. So stamp it up. We want more mail 
stamp sets for coming out because we have got men in our lives too, not just ladies. I hope you enjoy anyway and give me a thumbs up and a share, that'd be amazing. And if you like what you saw, please don't forget to press the subscribe button. Don't forget the little bell straight after as well, that way you'll be notified of all future videos. I do my best to try and post every single day. So if you want to see what I make tomorrow, press that button and get on over and see us tomorrow. Take care, love you all. Bye.